Welcome to our second annual State of the Org event. My name is Garima Bot Hanley, and I am honored to serve as the Executive Director of Higher Achievement Baltimore. We are thrilled you've decided to eat your lunch with us today while you learn a little more about what we've accomplished over the last year, what programming currently looks like, and how you can help us strengthen our program. We would love to know who is here with us today. So please take a moment to introduce yourself in the chat. Share your name and your affiliation with us. Whether you're a school partner, mentor, board member, funder, scholar, family member, or friend, we are so happy to have you here with us today. At our first annual State of the Org event last year, we shared our vision for growth, which was to serve more students in Baltimore City, given the low number of school-aged children who currently have a mentor. Following last year's event, we were blown away by your partnership in making this vision a reality. After the event, we connected with city schools and became an approved vendor through the Office of Teaching and Learning. We received larger gifts from existing funders and had new funders support us in our pursuit of serving more scholars. We spoke with school communities eager to learn more like the amazing Principal Denise Ashley, who shared that while she has programs in her building that support literacy in the early grades, she was looking for a program like ours to support her middle school students. She said bluntly, what do we need to do to bring this program to my school? And after looking at Highland Town 237 against our criteria, it was clear this was our next school partner. The Highland Town community is home to immigrants and refugees that make the neighborhood and our city stronger. We are so proud to work with the students in this incredible community. Once we made the decision to expand to Highland Town this spring, we got moving. We continued fundraising to support full program expenses. We met regularly with Principal Ashley and her team to plan for the year. We hired staff, met with families and teachers and recruited scholars. We booked transportation home for every scholar every day. We ordered meals, trained mentors and part-time staff, and officially opened our doors at Highland Town on October 11th. It has been a tremendous team effort. So let's throw a little love in the chat for our higher achievement staff at Highland Town 237, Milan Harris and Bentley Addison, as well as our Highland Town teachers, coaches, and administrators, including Principal Ashley, and Assistant Principal Patton, an incredible leadership team. While this event is celebratory for us, let's not let it overshadow the reality for many of our schools. Our scholars are persistent, hardworking, and courageous in navigating the global pandemic and the challenges it's brought. But even so, it's unbelievably hard to be a student right now. It's hard to be a teacher or an administrator right now. So I wanna stop and say thank you to everyone joining us from inside a school right now. We use the term learning loss, but that term doesn't take into account the history of inequitable opportunities prior to the pandemic. It doesn't take into account the fact that inequity has been intentionally baked into the educational system for centuries. And what we need most right now is more volunteer tutors to work with our growing scholar rosters. And in particular, we need more bilingual tutors to better support our Spanish speaking scholars. Volunteers commit to just one hour every week. And with more volunteer tutors, we can bring more scholars off the wait list and into our program. Consider volunteering or motivating folks in your network to volunteer with us today. And if you have an idea around how we can recruit more Spanish speaking tutors, we wanna hear from you. Despite the volunteer shortage, our Baltimore staff are doing all they can to support their scholars. And you're gonna meet each member of the team today, Milan, Bentley, Tammy, Katina, as well as our Director of Program Operations or DPO, Mr. Jonathan Smith. 
John is a Baltimore native and has worked his way up at Higher Achievement Baltimore. From part-time staff to volunteer and scholar coordinator to center director and now DPO, John's commitment to scholars and staff is unparalleled. His dedication to ensuring our scholars receive safe, engaging, and high quality programming is unmatched. So without further ado, let me pass it over to John. Thanks, Garima. Hi, my name is Jonathan Smith, and I'm the Director of Program Operations for Higher Achievement Baltimore. As we've entered this unprecedented academic school year, Higher Achievement wanted to make sure our new program model addressed the needs of our scholars, families, and school leadership. We wanted to ensure our program model provided a safe, supportive, engaging, and academically rigorous program that prepares scholars for a high school success and creates exposure opportunities for college and career readiness. When scholars come to higher achievement, they receive a supper and snack, recess, homework support, literacy tutoring, community meeting, and mentoring. So let's dive deeper into our three main core components, which I like to refer as our three, two, one approach. Three days a week of literacy tutoring, two days a week of community meeting, and one day a week of mentoring. Well, let's start with literacy tutoring. This is where our amazing staff and volunteers utilize an online platform called Achieve 3000 to enhance our scholars' vocabulary, critical thinking skills, and reading comprehension. Our goal is to provide scholars with a one to four staff to scholar ratio that is strategically grouped by reading levels to ensure targeted skill development. We are excited that Achieve 3000 is based in common core standards and allows our scholars to read an array of articles and present scholars with comprehension questions to test their understanding of these articles. Once scholars have completed at least four articles per month, their article difficulty or lexile level automatically adjusts to challenge and encourage their skill development as well. We were able to use our Chi 3000 data to better align and connect with school staff and parents to support scholars' academic achievement throughout the school year. Our next core component is mentoring. Scholars are intentionally placed in mentoring groups and paired with caring adults that are positively challenging and encouraging their academic, social, and emotional development. During these sessions, mentors and scholars work through our higher achievement curriculum built on fundamentally high school readiness and 21st century skill development and skill goals. Discussing topics related to Baltimore High School Choice Process, Baltimore City High School offerings pertaining to academic and extracurricular interests, as well as college career readiness. Throughout our year, throughout the whole entire year, our mentors are able to do collaborative goal setting and reflective activities with scholars as we set them up for success. And last but not least, it's community meeting. It is an intentionally designed space where our scholars are able to discuss topics related to our social justice pillars, which are solidarity, voice, freedom, and justice. Scholars are given a safe space to share ideas on events that happen globally, nationally, culturally, or even events within their communities and is facilitated by a higher achievement staff member. You might be wondering, what does our program actually look like? Well, let's take a look. Tell me, just one word, what is culture to you? Just one word. King, what's culture to you? Community. Okay. Um, custom. Custom? Culture, okay. What is culture to me? Culture to me is a way of life. That, that includes everything that we can possibly do. So I agree it is a tradition. I agree it is custom. I agree it's religion, it's music, it's art. And here at Higher Achievement, we accept all of that. Um, and so we accept all of you. I like that you get to express yourself in uh, different ways in our community. And the way that like you get to do it is like you get to be who you are and do what you want to do. I like the culture house competitions because they're really fun. <laughs> 
I love working with higher achievement because I enjoy spending time with the scholars and watching them grow. Interestingly, I just expressed to Marianne last week that I'm not good at public speaking, so I like the chance to be able to speak with the children in small settings and build up their confidence while I'm also building up my own confidence. I am also a former scholar of higher achievement. I attended the program in the 80s back in my hometown of Washington, D.C. I am also a parent of a former higher achievement scholar who's now in the ninth grade. Um, I think the platform that we have at higher achievement and the mentorship that we provide at higher achievement is really making a difference and is really beneficial for the scholars and for everyone involved and it really gets people and scholars and mentors and volunteers involved into the community and to the beautiful place that is Baltimore. Hello everybody, my name is Milan Harris and I am the founding learning director of our newest site in Highland Town. It's truly been an honor to meet the wonderful students, staff, teachers, administration, and parents of Highland Town 237. With the help of our mentors, we've been able to do so many projects and activities to reinforce their academic and SEL skills, while also teaching them new things about the world at large and about their personal worlds. We've been able to listen to them and empower their voices so they can change the world around them. After nearly two years out of school, it's been amazing to witness our scholars adapt and grow with so much resilience and so much integrity. I am so proud to be Highland Town's first learning director, and I'm even prouder to have the amazing Bentley Addison as my coordinator. That said, I will pass the mic over to Bentley now. Thanks so much, Milan. Hi, everyone. My name is Bentley Addison, and I'm so, so proud to be the founding learning coordinator for Highland Town. It's really bizarre to me that we've only been working with our scholars, our incredible team of mentors and tutors, and the Highland Town staff and administration for about two months, because it feels like it's been so much longer. I'm proud of so, so much about our center, but first and foremost is our scholars. Um, a large part of our center is made up of ESOL students, and they've all been working so incredibly hard at improving their English and their overall academic skills after nearly two years out of school. Every time they push themselves to learn a new word in English, every time they push themselves to learn a new math skill, every time they push themselves to learn a new social emotional coping skill, I'm so proud of them. I'm also incredibly grateful to our mentors and tutors. You'll hear from Miss Cassie in a little bit, but our volunteers have given so much of themselves to be great resources and supports for our scholars, and we truly wouldn't be here without them. Lastly, I'm so, so proud of our higher achievement team at Highland Town our Literacy A Jordan and our incredible learning director Milan and all the work that they've both done to make Center such an amazing success. Today, we'd like to bring Highland Town to you. Let's take a look. What I like about higher achievements is that like they help us with homework. We play new games that I never played before and learn new stuff that I never learned. Mi parte favorita del programa es cuando hacemos proyectos, proyectos como aprender nuevas cosas de cosas nuevas que han pasado antes y ahora. Like they help us to learn more things about the, like the, uh, like the maps of the earth and like things we didn't know when we were in, in class. I like him teaching me more about science that I don't know. Math, um, reading. Aprendido muchas cosas a ser buena gente y a compartir cosas. Y y de los proyectos que hemos hecho, aprendido del racismo que había eh, antes. 
if you don't know like something about the questions in, or problems in the homework, uh, you can ask uh, the mentors or the teachers in higher achievement to help you. They help us a lot. I like working with Miss Milan and Mr. Bemi because of their kindness and how they treat me. They just interacting with the kids. They're in a place where um, the culture, sort of their background culture, and then the USA culture is coming together. And so you see them trying to navigate both. And so they give themselves less credit for it than they should. I like the, the high achievement program. I like the fact that the instructors are really motivated to work with the students. The students are really motivated to actually attend. It's just to see them um, dream out loud to see them um, actually I've been asking them what do you want to do when you grow up and um, although they, they do giggle and say some crazy little <laughs> things ultimately their, their, their dreams come out and I want to be a doctor I want to be a lawyer um, and I get to, to encourage that and I get to show them that it is possible that it's not a far-fetched idea and the fact that after 18 months of not having um, consistent instructions for some of them, this helps to fill in the gaps. Hello everyone. My name is Katina Burley, a proud Baltimorean and graduate of Baltimore City Public Schools. Graduating from St. Mary's College of Maryland with a degree in political science, I maintained a strong activist lifestyle. Beginning with my acceptance into a Miracle Vista volunteer program, where I strategized with 21st century schools, resulting in hundreds of students gaining access to quality education buildings. I then decided to join a women's political program, training program, Emerge Maryland, to gain a, to gain a community of women who empowered and supported me while campaigning for city council. Now, I am the learning director at Mount Royal with Higher Achievement, an organization that believes talent is everywhere, but opportunity is not. Aligning with that message is why I've been with the organization for a little over four years and continue to support the scholars, the parents, and the Baltimore community. Now, it is my privilege to introduce our keynote speaker this afternoon, Council Member James Torrance of District 7. Council Member Torrance has been a leader in his community since the age of 13, when he advocated with fellow student government association members to elicit support from the mayor and the governor to renovate schools facilities. After serving as SGA Vice President during his undergraduate studies at Towson University, in 2010, he served as a legislative aide and interim, interim Chief of Staff for former State Senator Varner Jones Rodwell. After his time as CEO Graduate Fellow at Baltimore City Public Schools, he worked on policymaking, strategy, and compliance for city schools. He holds a JD from the University of Baltimore School of Law, a Master's of Science in Negotiation and Conflict Management from the University of Baltimore, and a dual Bachelor's of Science in Political Science and Communication Studies from Towson University. We were honored when he joined our advisory board earlier this year. Over to you, Council Member Torrance. Thank you, Katina. Um, it is a pleasure to be here, not only as an advisory board member, but as someone who is a son of Baltimore, who knows the value of programs such as higher achievement. Little known fact, I have dyslexia. It is without question the support from programs such as higher achievement, I would not be where I am today. A person with dyslexia has a hard battle to, oh, to achieve in law school when you're reading two to 300 pages of reading a night just to keep up with your classmates, but rereading it again, because you have to understand that you see the world differently. I learned through a program similar to higher achievement, evidence-based strategies that allow me to comprehend the reading, but also understand that I can connect the world differently as much as my classmates do it standardly. I, won I wonder, what would we be without programs without higher achievement? I'm thankful for higher achievement because two things, evidence-based strategies. These strategies help our scholars to be not only esteemed, but also allow us to unlock that talent. Talent that we have across the city. 
one of the things is that when we unlock that talent, we create great opportunities for not only for our scholars, but for their families. I'm proud of Higher Achievement's results. It was no question to join Higher Achievement's advisory board, but more, most certainly, I'm thankful for the men and women and persons and they who choose to show up every day for our young people, as well as be mentors to them and esteem them as they are in entering our buildings and facilities and programs. Because at the end of the day, these interactions lead to one thing, a better person, a better family, a better community, and a better Baltimore. I'm thankful for your higher achievement, but also I'm looking forward to the results that you will bring throughout this pandemic. Um, a pandemic that has challenges at our core and has allowed us to re-envision how we do education and learning recovery. I'm thankful for your results and I look forward to greater results. And back to you, Karima. Thank you so much, Council Member Torrance. I am struck by your commitment to your district, your constituents, students in District 7 and in our program and just totally inspired by your story. Part of our responsibility is to ensure we are not only providing high quality programming to scholars during their middle school years, but also paving a path to strong programming during high school years as well. So they remain on track for college and career. In light of that, we are excited to report out on two new partnerships with Merit Baltimore and the Y of Central Maryland. Merit and the Y will facilitate field trips and other opportunities with our scholars so they are exposed to these high school programs during their middle school years. Then, at the end of each school year, we'll come together for matriculation meetings where we'll refer scholars we think would be a great fit for either or both program. And as scholars apply to and enroll in these programs, we are confident they will continue to receive intensive support in high school. And also by continuous communication with Merit and the Y staff, we will be able to keep track of how our alumni are doing even after they leave higher achievement. In a moment, we will have our higher achievement high school placement director, Braylon Smith, as well as Merit's director of programs, Asia Carey, speak a bit about their aspirations for this partnership. We are so delighted to have Asia and Braylon here with us today. Thank you, Garima. Greetings. My name is Asia Carey, and I am the program director at Merit Health Leadership Academy. Merit is a three-year longitudinal career mentoring program that serves underrepresented Baltimore City high school students seeking to pursue careers in health and medicine. We are so excited about our partnership with Higher Achievement and specifically our upcoming STEM exposure weeks with the students of Lakeland Elementary Middle School and Mount Royal Middle School. In February, Merit Scholars in partnership with BioEyes will lead a week-long workshop examining cell biology, genetics, and the scientific method. We believe that by providing hands-on STEM exposure earlier in the education pipeline, students will be more likely to see careers in health and medicine and or research and science as viable career pathways. Thank you, Higher Achievement, for inviting us to speak at your State of the Org event. We look forward to our continued partnership. Braylon, over to you. Thank you, Asia, really appreciate it. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for allowing me to be here. I'm Braylon Smith, and I serve as the Director of High School Placement and Alumni Programs. My hope for the partnerships with the Y of Central Maryland and Merit is that our scholars and alumni are able to pursue pathways to phenomenal careers that can change their lives and the lives of people around the world. Having this vision and these high expectations can propel our scholars and alumni toward their dreams. I welcome and I challenge you to believe this with me. Our scholars and alumni will benefit from these partnerships over the coming years through early exposure, mentorship, and experience in things like the medical and health field, as well as leadership development. These partnerships combine our high school placement efforts and our alumni programs vision together, just as we thought it would. 
In addition, these partnerships allow us to use this format as a model to pursue similar relationships with other college and career prep programs across our organization and other affiliates. The benefits are invaluable for our scholars and alumni across our organization. I'd like to close by highlighting that none of this would be possible without the presence of our scholars and families, the work of our staff, the dedication of our mentors, the guidance of our leadership, and the generosity of so many donors and supporters and partners. This is a testament and a reminder that everyone has a role to play in impacting the lives of our young people, and you can too. Thanks for letting me bend your ears and hopefully your hearts. Back to you, Grima. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Asia and Braylon. You've heard from our staff, scholars, mentors, an advisory board member, an assistant principal, and a program partner about the work we do and how critical it is to have community support so we can continue to provide strong educational opportunities for our scholars. In a second, you'll see a poll appear on your screen that helps us to know how you'll continue to engage with us. Please take a moment to complete that poll now. Great to see these results coming in. You've heard from our, well, we have so many people to thank for today's program. Huge thank you to all of our FY22 early funders who make our work at three schools possible. Thanks to our external speakers, Councilman Torrance, Pastor Nunez, AP Patton, Asia Carey, Ms. Faison, Marianne, Phoenix, Yoni, Gabriella, Clever, and Emilio. Thanks to our incredible program staff for the work you do with our scholars every day and for all your help in planning and preparing for this event. Thank you to our Higher Achievement Baltimore Advisory Board and Host Committee for your continued support and for getting so many community members here today. And thanks to our Higher Achievement Development Team for your amazing logistical support. Thanks to Mr. Tavon Lawrence from One Accord Productions and the folks from the Nonprofit Learning Lab for tech and video support. And to all of our attendees, thank you for being with us today. Have a safe and loving holiday. <laughs>